What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we are putting a brand new front splitter on this CEA Corvette. It's coming from ACS Composites. And if you're wondering to yourself, man, that box is pretty big for just a front splitter, you'd be right. And we're gonna be teasing about some other exciting products from this company that we're gonna also stall on the CEA at a later time. And with that being said, let's get started and open that box and see what we got inside. Alrighty guys, so usually I would do any of these product reviews on the table but obviously this thing is so huge I can't actually use that so we're gonna kind of just lean it gently on the C8 and open up the box and see what we got I'm crying out loud I'm super excited to open this box. <laughs> Let's open this up. Let's see, what do we got here? Mm, I see a splitter here, but more importantly, I see an under tray for that splitter. So that piece is actually pretty interesting. So that piece is actually going to fit underneath the front of the C8 to actually protect the front to actually protect the front splitter from getting damage and such. I'm really excited about like showing that cuz it's going to be pretty exciting. But this video is just strictly for the front splitter. I'll be having another video directly talking about everything you need to know about this front um about this front under tray so you can get a feel for why it's important for your ride to get one. But definitely appreciate the uh, packaging is really really nicely put together. I mean Every, all the main parts are all secured and it's not going to be any kind of issues that I see so far. So definitely happy with, definitely happy with that. And I see some hardware that's enclosed on the other, on the right side. I have to just kind of literally roll my chair over so you can actually kind of see it a little bit. Yeah, so you got your general hardware that's enclosed. So again, we'll be talking about that. This is more for the under tray and it is going to be awesome to show. I'm gonna kind of quickly put this GoPro to the side real quick so I can like use both my hands to you know, take this out. So this here is the actual front splitter. It's nicely wrapped up. It's not gonna get messed up in any regards to this and also the order slip right there. Um, so we are going to try to get this all unwrapped and see what it looks like. So just in the initial parts, you are seeing this is in carbon flash right directly from ACS Composites and that finish looks great. Let's see. So let me get this, let me get this really quickly set up. Alrighty guys. So we have unboxed the front splitter and under tray from ACS. As you can see, I had to film this part at a later point in the video. Had to get like had to run some errands, so it's nighttime at this point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the C8 to face this way, so I can use all the lighting that I have in the garage. And once I have the car turned around and facing this direction, we'll take a closer look at that front splitter from ACS. Alrighty guys, so we have the C8 pulled forward and we have the front splitter here to check out. Now going into a little bit more detail, this front splitter is the 5VM version. And the way they distinguish it is from the winglets that you see right here on the ends. Now ACS has a 1VM which has no winglet or has a very, very small winglet. And then it goes to the 5VM which I just showed and then their newest one which is a 7VM which is much more which has a much more aggressive wing profile on the side. Now the front splitters in regards to how much they come out between all the three are exactly the same. And on top of that, they are positioned in a way to help reduce the amount of curb rash you would potentially see because they do stick out a bit. But ACS has done a good job of developing these so that it minimizes that amount of hitting on the front 
if you happen to come along a steep incline. Now for those instances where you don't have, like that you don't have the clearance and you might actually hit that front splitter, that's where that under tray I just showed is gonna come in really handy. Now all of them come standard with a carbon flash finish that will directly match your OEM carbon flash that you would see on any kind of C8. And it is a great finish. There are no blemishes anywhere. The final product is absolutely spot on. And I'll have links in the description below to check them out if you're interested. So the price for these splitters range depending on which version you get with the 1VM splitter starting at 559 and then the 7VM just under $900 which is on the higher end of the market compared to other companies. But I think the key difference is in the quality of what you're getting. This is made from PC composites that are high durability, scratch resistant, and able to withstand a lot of wear. This should last the lifetime of your C8. So this is a good investment where you're not gonna have to pay, where you're not paying for something cheaper and then maybe need to replace. You're, pay, you're paying for something that is gonna last. And that's what it comes down to. This part is built to last and is why I'm so excited to have this on my personal C8. By the way, I hope this information is useful to you. If you find it useful, I invite you to subscribe to the channel as well as like this video. It does help me know that I'm going in the right direction with these kind of videos and you find them useful as well as help grow the channel. Now this part of the video is again, only just looking at the front splitter. I know I showed the under tray. When that video, I'm like, we're gonna have a separate product review video just for the under tray. If you're curious about it and the video is out, I'll have a link right here so you can check it out. And that's gonna be an extra layer of protection, by the way, that can re like, that's really, really important, especially if you're gonna keep, like, to protect that front splitter that you just invested a good amount of money on. I'm like, and the best part of that under tray is that it's not just, it doesn't just work with ACS composite front splitters, it can work with OEM, 5EM, front splitters as well. And if you have any questions about these products, please leave a question down in the comments below. So alrighty guys, we've talked a lot about this front splitter. So let's show you how you'd install one on your C8. So this install is probably one of the easiest and straightforward mods you can do for your C8. All you need is a T15 Torx bit and a screwdriver to use with that bit. While I feel it's not absolutely necessary, it can help having a jack lift to at least lift one side of your C8 to give you easier access. On top of that, using an electric screwdriver can also make that process much faster and easier to do if you have one around. And overall, this job I would say would take anyone around 20 minutes or less to do. So first step to this is essentially lifting up the C8. This isn't required, but definitely recommended if you have that tool as it'll help you have better clearance to remove and reinstall the screws you need to. After which, your first objective is to remove the Z51 front splitter if you have one. If you don't, there still should be 15 T15 screws you need to remove, but just not a front splitter to go along with it. The T15 screws will look like this and have a large washer that goes with it. You may also want to have a tray to keep all the screws in one place, but it's not really needed. Once all the screws are removed, you can then remove the front splitter. Depending, some front splitters also are attached with 3M double-sided tape, which will require you to pull more firmly in order to remove. The new front splitter won't need 3M as there are plenty of screws holding this piece firmly in place. After that's done, you're ready to replace the new splitter on. Hold the splitter in position and reinstall using the T15 screws from before. The splitter flexes a bit, so it will help either using a box or similar to help hold it in place, 
or having a second pair of hands to keep it in place while you're placing the first few screws. One big tip while you're installing the screws is to place the ends and center screws first and to have it in place, but don't tighten yet. You're gonna wanna have the front splitter to be loose so you can align all the other holes. AC has did a really good job of making sure all these holes will line up correctly, so all you'll have to do is just shift it a little bit in order for all the holes to be in place. Once everything is lined up, you can then install and tighten all the screws. After that, you're done and your new splitter is installed. All right, guys, what do you think of this? Check it out. It looks, I think it looks absolutely amazing. And it was a really easy install. I mean, I mean, yeah, you had 15 screws you had to uninstall and reinstall, especially if you had a Z51 front splitter you were replacing. Like I would argue this is probably the easiest install that I've ever done on the C8. So, well, maybe except for the um, little vinyl insert in front of the car, which is another cool video that you should check out if you haven't already. Anywho, but what do you think about it? I'd love to know your thoughts, if you would buy one or not for your C8. If you found this video interesting, I do have that under tray video coming up if it hasn't been released already. If it is, you'll see it right here. But if not, check out any of my other C8 videos like this one here for your C8 or car needs.